Well, thousands gathered at Balloon Fiesta Park this morning, not just for the balloons, but for a rare out of this world view. Now, people came from all over to see the annular solar eclipse, which lasted in New Mexico for four minutes and 46 seconds. It wasn't hard to see just how excited people were as thousands of eclipse safety glasses were handed out ahead of the phenomena. But I got my eclipse glasses here. When that thing comes down, I'm gonna be watching it hard. Yeah. Actually, been on the on the road, road. since four o'clock this morning, and it took a while to get in here. Not it took us about two and a half hours before we actually stepped foot into the Blue Fiesta this morning. Yeah, it was pretty pretty crazy. The high winds changed the plan eclipse glow to a candlestick glow as pilots lit their burners during the height of the event. Now, if you missed it, experts say a total solar eclipse in April will cross the United States starting in Texas and head up to eastern Canada, well away from New Mexico. Balloon Fiesta wraps up tomorrow with its final day and we'll have coverage starting at 7 a.m. over on Fox New Mexico. The New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science also drew a crowd to watch the solar eclipse. People could view the eclipse through solar telescopes. Now, there were live feeds from both NASA and NOAA broadcasted on monitors throughout the museum. And of course, special glasses were given to guests so they could look up and see the eclipse for themselves. It's just such a natural thing. I hope everybody gets to see it once in their life. You know, we're from Seattle, we're not going to be able to see it, so it was just a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I looked at it with the glasses, and you could kind of, and, and it like looked like a ring of fire, like the ones in circuses where, where the animals jump through. NASA says events like this one can be used to study different solar activity and our own atmosphere.